Oh, jeez.
I thought I might take a chance to explain some of the design aspects of this and go into a bit of a technical discussion. I'll make this one off camera. The design of this one was changed during the build to give it a wider base on the shaft. If you have anything to do with engineers, you might have heard of the term moments. What a moment is, it's force at a distance, it's a lever action. If I take one of these and I apply force, it generates a bending action. Some would even call it a bending moment. That bending moment is creating two points of contact on the shaft. Due to the ratio of the dimensions, that force is amplified. More force here means more friction. Don't let the math scare you. If this number is less than one, it means we can actually overcome that friction force. But at the moment with these, I've actually got to apply a counter rotation. I'd like it to be better. If we widen the base to 50, change the bearings to bronze, less than one. We should be able to move this. I'm not going to lie to you, I hate this design. It's just a keyed bushing really. When I designed it I didn't really consider the key on here so I didn't have much to work with. I've got some bronze on the way and I'll be able to make these fit over the shaft a lot better. If you look at the end of these plungers they're actually threaded. So the intention is to put in a tip here to go into a selector plate. I've yet to decide whether it's going to be a pin or a cone that locks into the hole it might even end up being hardened. This gives me some options. These will eventually be welded into these blocks. This screw just gives me a bit of adjustment. I'm probably gonna modify this as well. I didn't have argon at the time. Aesthetically, I'm not happy with it. The stick comes out about once a year. I think that's a good point to leave it. Calculator.